wrote the letter that Bob reads in the open of the show? A. Malia Matthews of San Francisco, California. B. Myra Eggleston of Youngstown, Pennsylvania. C. Wendell West of Benton Harbor, Michigan. D. Dave Lacasio of Monticello, Virginia. Of the following four choices, which one does Larry Boy's superhero suction ears not get stuck on? A. Bob's nose. B. The camera lens. C. The countertop. D. The sink. That's right! How many brothers did Dave have? A. Seven. B. Four. C. Nine. D. Three. Good job! Why couldn't Dave help his brothers when they went off to save Israel? A. He was too little. B. He didn't know the way. C. Everyone knows asparagus can't fight. D. He wasn't 18. Good job! What does Goliath call the Israelites to make Dave mad? A. Rooster lips. B. Cowards. C. German shepherds. D. Ninnies. What are the Philippines? A, a group of islands off the coast of Southeast Asia. B, a large carnivorous dinosaur. C, a band of fierce warrior peas. D, a desert roaming nomadic tribe. Good job. What was unusual about the sheep that Dave took care of? A, they spoke Flemish. B, they had cotton hair instead of wool. C, they kept falling over. D, they counted themselves until they fell asleep. Where did Dave live? A. At his folks' house. B. Berwyn. C. Schenectady. D. Israel. Good job! Whose side was Goliath on? A. The Philippines. B. The Philadelphians. C. The Philistines. D. The Philodendrons. You got it! If the Philistines beat the Israelites, what were the Philistines going to do? A. The Hokey Pokey. B. Make the Israelites their slaves. C. Have a big party. D. Take their sheep. That's right! January. Yay! It's time for sledding. I'll race you up the hill. I can share my sled with you, and we'll go faster still. February. Snip, color, cut, and paste. Share a valentine. I would love to be your friend. I hope that you'll be mine. March. Come along and play outside. The sun is warm and bright. God will share the wind with us, so I will share my kite. April. Sharing an umbrella and a rainy song to sing can be a lot of fun. Guess what April showers bring? May. Flowers by the dozen. Pick a colorful bouquet. Share them one by one. Brighten everybody's day. June. Share a secret hideout. Invite some company. Sharing snacks and stories is as special as can be. July. Kapow! Kabam! Kaboom! Kabing! That's really noisy fun. Holidays are special when they're shared with everyone. August. Crackle, crackle, sizzle, pop. Share a sticky treat. Fire glowing, breezes blowing, camping can't be beat. September. Time for school to start, which means another year to grow. Walking with a friend is also sharing time, you know. October. Sharing work together always leaves you with a smile. And when you're done, half the fun is jumping in the pile. November. Giving thanks around the table, seated all just so. Sharing like the Indians and pilgrims long ago. December. Share a special Christmas song for everyone to hear. We can share God's love today and all throughout the year. Junior and Laura share the year together is a Zonder Kids book. For other big idea books, go to www.zonderkids.com. Uh. 
Um, have you ever played the game Rock, Paper, Scissors? If you have, you'll love this game. We changed it to fit our story, and we call it Rock, Sword, Boxing Gloves. The way you... Sword breaks rock. Have you ever played the game Rock, Paper, Scissors? If you have, you'll love this game. We changed it to fit our story, and we call it Rock, Sword, Boxing Gloves. The way you play is to use the arrow keys on your DVD remote to pick the rock, sword, or boxing gloves. At the same time, the DVD will randomly pick one and figure out who won. Ready? One, two, three! Rock beats boxing gloves. Sword breaks rock. Sword breaks rock. Rock beats boxing gloves. Sword breaks rock. Sword breaks rock. Boxing gloves beats sword. Rock beats boxing gloves. Rock be rock beats boxing gloves beats sword.